We are delighted this morning uh, to have as a, our special guest uh, a gentleman who's going to share his story this morning, Dr. Lowell Robertson. Uh, Lowell is one of our physicians that served on our reopening team who did such a tremendous job in preparing for our live time together. And, um, and Lowell is going to come and share his story about God's patience in his life and his patience as well. So let me pray for Lowell, and then let's listen closely to what he shares. Father, we give you uh, thanks for your work in, in Lowell's life. Lord, bless him, we pray, as he shares this morning. Give him freedom as he shares. I pray that you would fill him with your spirit, and Lord, that you would open all of our hearts and our ears to hear what it is that you want to say to us personally through the words that he shares. We ask this in Jesus' name. Amen. Thank you, Pastor. Good morning. My name is Lowell, and I'm an internal medicine, addiction medicine doctor at Oklahoma State University, and I work in the National Center for Wellness and Recovery. When I think of patients, I think about it in two different ways. Patients that God has shown me, and patients that God is instilling into my character. His patience has been shown to me all of my life. I was 14 years old when I asked Christ into my heart. When I went away to college at Oklahoma State, I felt on fire for the Lord, but I was very pious. I got judgmental and expected everyone else I ran around with to be just as sold out to Christ as I was. Looking back, I was not humble and thought of myself as better than others. I got married in 1984 and started medical school at the University of Oklahoma in 1985. I knew from an early age that I was going to be a doctor. My dream was to take care of everyone, make house calls, and be the perfect doctor. It was during these years of medical school that I lost my commitment to the Lord. My thought life and sexual purity went downhill. When I graduated medical school and became a doctor, it consumed me. I worked 100 plus hours a week and this consumption with my career was the final straw for my marriage. I was acting like I was God, and I didn't want anyone else telling me what to do. I had also been turning to alcohol over the years, and in 1998, I got caught with alcohol in my system while practicing medicine. The medical board was notified. Their recommendation was for me to be evaluated, but I had no desire to be sober. I walked away from the practice of medicine because of my pride. Even though I had given up on me, God had not. He is so rich in mercy and is patient with his children. He had bigger plans for me than I was capable of seeing at the time. After my fourth DUI in 2016 and being thrown back in jail, I finally hit rock bottom. I knew I couldn't keep living like this. Things had to change beginning with me. I cried out to God. And he was still there, patiently waiting, probably shaking his head, saying, it's about time, son. I don't know. What I did know, though, was about Celebrate Recovery. It was clear to me that I was supposed to get involved. I got baptized, declaring that Jesus was not just Savior of my life, but Lord of every area of my life. My biggest struggle early on in my redemption to Christ was with patience. I was on fire again, but not tempered. I started saying yes to everything the church asked of me. It was all really good stuff, but I got overwhelmed. I would charge into battle. I might ask God beforehand, but I didn't always wait for him to answer. God says, be still and know that he is God. That is hard for me, but I found the value of resting and waiting patiently for him to direct my steps. In 2018, God started directing me back into the practice of medicine. I didn't think there was a path back because of my past. I started meeting and talking with physicians on the medical board, and what I met was grace and favor, as my peers were willing to help me back into the practice of medicine. My path back into medicine has had cost and pain and sacrifice and has built my patience immeasurably. 
The end resulted in getting my medical license back with some restrictions. Today, I only have five days left and those restrictions can be lifted. I also have four years of sobriety today. God has given me a new purpose in life, and that is to help his children suffering with addictions to find hope and restoration and be delivered from the chains that bind them. And then once they're sober, to encourage them in their walk with Christ, make disciples, teach them to make disciples, and fulfill the Great Commission. His purpose, God has brought me back into the practice of addiction medicine and put me exactly where he wants me simply to help me fulfill that purpose, his purpose. So I stand before you today as someone so thankful for God's patience, and I will continue to, to patiently wait for his spirit to continue to work in and through me. All glory be to God.